Hello, and wonderful, beautiful, powerful, amazing beings. I am so happy and so thrilled to be here with you for today's 30 Days Strong. <laughs> and it's so wonderful. We are at day 12 of 30 Days Strong. And it is a wonderful, wonderful experience to be here every single day on this time with each and every one of you from all over the world, sharing love and commitment to seeing us shifted and lifted. <clears throat> and today's um, 30 Days Strong uh, is about water healing. And we're going to learn the symbol and we're going to learn how to do it. And so everyone, make sure you have a bowl of water um, that you have. If not, you can always come back and look at this video. It'll be up on YouTube and then later on on IGTV. So, um, and also on Apple TV and Connect. So uh, just want to let you know that you are a powerful and amazing being. And I want you to always know that when you're practicing these shamanic techniques, it's about having fun when you're doing it and taking time for yourself so that you're not getting so much about being so intense about it. Like, oh, I have to do it like this, right? Because in shamanism, it's always about remembering to be a child, to be childlike, right? So and if you ever meet a shaman anywhere in the world, you'll know that they're a shaman because they're very childlike. Um, that sometimes they can be a little bit like, you know, thinking about other things and being in other places and so forth. And then, you know, being here at the same time. So they're, they're very free and, and moving and, and open and expressive. And at the same time, there and here and everywhere. And so it's and the reason why is because it's about having a fun. It's about being a kid. It's about letting your mind go into other dimensions and journey and and so forth. So when you're doing these things, don't be so intense about them and be so serious because that's not going to allow you to benefit from the highest way of learning shamanism and learning shamanic techniques. And as you know, I am a spirit shaman. My family comes derives from Ghana, from Haiti, and then to New Orleans. And, you know, and my background is in spirit shamanism. So there are different types of shamans. There's root shamans that deal with root medicines, and there's shamans that deal with certain plants, and shamans that deal with fire, and the shamans that deal, like in, in Bali and Indonesia, the shamans that deal with water and flowers and essences. Um, and then there's shamans that deal with animals like horses and drumming. Um, so there's all types of shamans. There's, you know, there's the, the Sami people, you know, there's all types of people from all over the world. Um, where shamanic culture exists in all cultures. And I'm a spirit shaman. So just to give you an understanding of that, in the training of shamanism, we learn about the spirit and the nature of the spirit that lives within everything, be it a plant or the air or you or your organs or your skin or your finger, everything that has a spirit. And so you'll know um, in spirit shamanism, we don't deal with plant medicines and we don't prescribe like ayahuasca or iboga or morning glory or peyote or any of the different medicines. There's so many. There's African catbush. I mean, the list goes on. And we focus more on spirit medicine because in the spirit world, there's all of these amazing, 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 amazing medicines. And there's so many um, different um, medicines and herbs and roots and things that exist in the spirit world, because in the spirit world, they have their own level of, of nature and water and, you know, all of these things. So on Earth, we have like mountains and rivers and lakes and streams and we have nature, we have the jungle and the Amazon and all the flatlands, the dry lands, the, the snowy areas, right, the grassy fields. In, in the spirit world, we have the same, and just a little bit bigger and a little bit more and many dimensions of it. So just to give you an understanding of that, right? So like when you dream at night, for instance, and you go into the dream world, the dream world, there is a doorway that connects to the dream world, which is known as the astral plane. And in the astral plane, you can access other doorways and other dimensions if you know how to navigate properly, which is something we're also going to be learning through our 30 Day Strong um, um, classes. So navigating in shamanic way 
isn't just about you going somewhere to a tree or going to see a butterfly or any of these things. Navigation is your spirit actually guiding you through these dimensions and you just being an open participant of it. But today, which I'm really excited about, is we are going to be doing water healing. Now, this is a specific form of water healing that goes back in shamanism and that has been used by a lot of medicine women and medicine men when someone is dealing with so much heaviness, uh, darkness, um, uh, discomfort in their body, um, too, too bound up, too tight. Because when you're bound up and when you're tight in your body, right, um, you get uh, what you call it inflammation. You get uh, things that are stagnant. And when emotions are stagnant and when they're not able to, to, to move, that's when we have a lot of things that happen in our life that really causes us discomfort and pain and, 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 and also leading to dis-ease, which is we're not in ease with life, right? And so having an understanding of the water element, the water absor absorbs, <laughs> absorb. the water absorbs, the water expands, and the water increases. And so what we understand is the water is cleansing because it does these expansions, increasings, and absorptions, and it also transmutes, which is really powerful. That means every time you drink a cup of water, the water molecules and the water itself is so intelligent that when it goes through your body, it reads all of the information from your organs to your energy field to everything. And then when you go to pee and go to the bathroom, and release the water. And when that water goes back to whatever system is in your area, that water then goes back into nature, goes back into nature, into the waters, into the rivers, into everything. And eventually the information held within those molecules, held within the H2O itself, because most people don't realize that water is intelligent. It literally will go into the earth, into the trees, and then the animals will eat the food from the earth that has the water that has that information, the trees get it, the earth gets it, and then nature learns about humanity and what we're up to, what we're thinking. If we've evolved, if we have moved um, into a place of love and rhythm with the earth, it knows how much, how much uh, uh, discord we are carrying inside of us, and then nature makes a decision either to protect itself more by creating plants that have much more poison or defense mechanisms. Uh, animals become more um, predatorial or are, are, are more based in security and safety from us, you know, because they learn by the water telling them how we are growing. The ecosystem and the whole entire system is, is genius. It's absolutely genius. And in shamanism, we understand the synthesis and the communication that takes place in all of these elemental forms. And because your body and your blood and your bile and your, your lymphatic system and your spinal fluid and your, um, your uh, seminal system, your vagina um, fluids, all of these different fluids of your body are water. And water is intelligent and it communicates information to your brain, through your blood, and back to different organs and tells it what's going on. So every time you drink a glass of water and you go to the bathroom, you're giving Mother Nature a full description of where you are in your evolution. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that just absolutely amazing? Absolutely amazing. And a lot of times people don't realize that the water element is reading so much of what's going on that nature actually makes changes and shifts according to how we are continuing to have a relationship with Gaia, right? With the mother sphere. The mother sphere is the earth that we're on, right? Terra, Prana, Gaia, the mother sphere. And it is intelligent beyond the networking understanding of nature and the fungus and the, the, net, the underground networking system and the above networking system and how water communicates to that networking system and tells the technology what we are up to on the land and how we are thinking and how we are progressing and how we are stepping into that alignment is absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So we in shamanism, 
and I share with all of you, our learning experiences is to come into alignment of understanding nature and learning the lessons through nature. You know, that's why I love Pocahontas so much because I love uh, how she says, you know, have you ever seen the wolf cry to the blue corn moon? Um, or have you know, have you followed a, a, a bear, you know, a bear in its own, in its footsteps and and walked in its footsteps and you know, and all of these things? Because to to be in alignment is to understand nature, and to understand nature is to understand us. And then we get to take it another level higher, which is how do we, as these sentient beings, begin to operate in the awareness of okay. I understand the core, I understand the base. Now I understand why the ocean does what it does and why rivers do what it does. And when something gets blocked or something gets held back in nature, stagnicity, bacteria, viruses, uh, animals can't drink the water because it's become stagnant, right? And that's the same with us, right? So the understanding is being able to, to, to define and understand, not through judgment, not through what we do as on earth, which is take a superiority over nature and animals and over each other. And then we use with the money system and we use um, what we can um, actually create, such as a house, a car, uh, you know, nice watches, clothes and this and that. And these become status symbolism to telling someone how powerful someone is. But power is not held in your Rolex watch. Power is not held in your car or your house. Power is not held in anything that's material. True power comes from understanding the relationship that you have with yourself, with others, and with nature, and with Gaia, the, the Terra sphere, right? So, so when we really define power in its most beautiful nature, we understand to get back back to the basics, that power is not in what you accumulate. Those things are there for whatever reason you feel you need to bring them there to fill up some, some part of yourself that makes you happy or fills up a void that makes you put your energy somewhere. The point is, it's not about right and wrong. It's just about knowing what is your attachment. And we'll get into that in other uh, shamanic uh, courses in our 30 Days Strong. Water, however, is there to teach us to let go. That's why when people go to the ocean or they swim in a lake or they go to a river, they feel relaxed. They feel, oh my God, when they go to take a vacation, where does people wanna go on vacation? People wanna go to the aqua blue waters. They wanna go to the beach. They wanna go to the lake. They wanna go to the river. They wanna go to places where the, the water is happening. And why? Because when you are connected to water, Water reminds the blood and the bile and all the liquids of your body to let go and flow. So I'm going to say it again, to let go and flow, let go and flow, let go and flow. The only thing that can hold water is a container that you can scoop up water with. But even in that sense, water is still free. And so when we understand water, we put it in our hands, it'll slide and fall off and go. It's the most beautiful creation and so amazing. And when we learn to let go and flow with water, the spirit of water and the element of water, then we allow because good health comes when we have good circulation, when the blood is flowing, when, the, when everything is flowing. And, you know, I call it getting juicy, right? Getting juicy means let it all just flow, let it flow. And the thing that limits it from flow is your consciousness, your thinking, the way you think. Um, emotions and things that you're holding on to need to return and go back into the energy and move so new energies can come in just like the ocean. So we're going to do, um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you the, the, the symbolism um, energy for um, activating a water. So what I would like for you to do is you're gonna make a, you're gonna follow my finger, you're gonna make a circle, okay? All the way around like this. And then when you go down, you're gonna go this way and you're gonna go like a lightning bolt, right? Until you get to the bottom. And then you're gonna take your finger down and you're gonna zip it up like that, okay? And I'm gonna show it to you again. So it's like this. 
and zip it up, okay? So again, zip it up. And when you draw symbols, and for those of you who've studied Reiki and, um, and other, and Joe Ray and other types of forms of healings that involve symbolism, people who've studied like Egyptian um, hermetics and all of these different things, when you invoke symbolism, you have to use the breath when you draw them and when you visualize them. And also you want to create a very bright, bright energy because Colors and vibration um, allow things to be expanded and powerful. So when you uh, draw it, so you would, uh, I, I, for myself, I like to make noises. So I go, voo, 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 okay? But some other people may just breathe through it. And some people may go, ha, 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 right? And the key element is to bring sound or energy into it. And if you and to visualize a color would be to either bring white, high level electric aqua blue, or a beautiful golden, like bright golden energy. Okay. And so again, you would just go circle, boom, 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 and zip it up. Your finger goes down to hold the frequency and zip it up. At that point, you can then communicate to the element of water. So we're gonna do this exercise. So just practice it a couple times. Zip it up, zip it up, zip it up. And practice that is gonna help you to be able to get into that space of understanding things. So just, okay? And really get into it. So practice that a couple times. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna have some water. So here I have mountain valley spring water. Um, it doesn't matter where you get the water from. Water is water. Um, this is not for drinking. There are sh uh, shamanic exercises that you do um, with water for drinking, and we will get into that another time. You have a bowl. You pour the water in the bowl. I'm going to just pour a little bit. Okay. And you hold the water. And you go over it. Once you do that, you say, spirit of the water, I ask for you now that I'm opening this communication to draw the poisons and energies and anything that is being affected in my body that's causing emotional blockage that, are, that is now moving and release it into and absorb it into the water. So I'm going to say that again because I got a little too jumbled. So I'm just going to say spirit of the, I'm going to make it simple. Spirit of the water, release energies from my body that my body doesn't need anymore and absorb it into the water. Now, the water knows that you are cleansing and the water is so smart that when it goes back into the network of nature, it will tell nature they're cleansing, they're releasing, they're releasing energies. And the nature goes, oh, okay, so this is what they're doing. And then the technology goes through all the root system and the trees and the animals, and they all learn that you're cleansing and clearing and doing these things. So then once you do that, you take your water. You'll see me because I'm going to actually bring it down to relax my arms. Okay. And then all you simply do is you make a decision for how long you want to do it for. So you can set a timer for like five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. For my, you know, when I'm working with kids and I'm working with like younger uh, teenagers and stuff, I'll have them do like five minutes just to get comfortable with it and then they can increase it. But adults, I would, I would encourage you to do 10, at least 10 minutes of it every, um, when you want to clean. Now there's different ways you can do it. You can take it and hold it like this. Um, it, for shamanism, you know, if you're, if, you're, if you're supporting someone and you're doing healing on someone, you lay them flat, okay? with no um, jewelry pieces and so forth, unless you have a watch like mine that's a Malachite watch, which is which is really power, but any kind of, kind of jewelry that is just jewelry or belt. But if it's a jewelry that you use for like, you know, bringing energy in, that's absolutely fine. But if it's just jewelry trinkets that have no meaning, take them off. Um, you lay the person flat and you take the bowl of water while they're flat and you stick it 
above their head, not on their head. I would be laying down, so you would see the bowl. Their head here would be the bowl. Their head would be right here. Their body would lay here. You draw the symbol over the water, and then you tell the water spirits to begin cleaning their body. You have them open their eyes and breathe, and you set a timer, and you just let, and you can just, and you can, and what you can do is say, water, pull more poison. Water, pull more poison out of their liver, out of their spleen, out of their large and small intestines, out of, you know, wherever it is that you want to extract, right, um, um, to, and put the water in, what you want to extract into the water, okay? So, but if you're doing it for yourself, and you're not doing it in a healing technique, you just simply hold the bowl of water, and then you say, water spirits, begin to pull the poisons out of my body and absorb them, and you breathe. Whew. Well, that was intense. And you breathe. And you will feel, some people might feel nauseous in the stomach, like I feel a bit nauseous in my stomach right now, and that's normal. You will feel things being pulled out of different areas, like right now I can feel the, my, um, my coccygeal bone in my lower sacrum, I can feel stuff being pulled out. My prostate, I can feel things being pulled out. But different people will feel it, and it might be a bit uncomfortable. You might get nauseous. Just keep with it for the five or ten minutes that you set, and you breathe, and you keep with it, and you keep the water. Um, you know, you just hold it, the bowl of water, right where your sacrum is if you're sitting up. And if you're laying down and doing it on yourself, laying down, you just put the water on your, on your stomach, okay? The bowl on your stomach. And you just breathe. And you keep breathing. And like, like right now, I feel it on this side of my back. It's coming out of my back. Ugh. Right? So, ooh, whoa. Okay. Woo. So, you know, you keep breathing and, um, and you keep releasing. So now I feel it coming out of this side of my body. It's coming out of my kidneys on this side of my body. And I feel emotions coming up for me right now. And so I'm just telling you, this is how quick it starts to affect you. And, um, and you just keep doing that. And yeah, you can get the water from your sink. You can get it from anything. It's water is water and it's intelligent and it's a living spirit. And, it, it, and once you draw the symbol and you tell the water what you needed to do, it's phenomenal. And uh, now it's coming. Okay, now it's moving in my spine. Oh, oh now I feel sad. I feel emotions coming through me. And whenever you feel, oh, I got it. If you start yawning, if you start um, gagging, make sure you have something next to you that you, uh, you can spit in if stuff starts coming up in your mouth. Um, if you start getting lightheaded, the most important thing is to keep your eyes open. Uh, I wouldn't recommend you doing this in the shower. You need a bowl and a vessel for the water to be contained in because when water is contained, it's a greater way for you to pull the water. Like in a lot of cultures, especially in like um, Indonesian cultures, when the shamans are using the water, they will contain it in something and then put flowers in it and then pour it over your head and, and you know, and wash you with it. Uh, different cultures have different ways of doing it. And so, um, and so, yeah, you just allow the water to move through. Oh, God. Yeah. So, ooh. <laughs> oh, so, you know, and you do this and you wait until the, the, the time is over. Like if you set it for five minutes or 10 minutes and when it's over and then when you're done, you, t you take a deep inhalation. And then you say, spirit of water. Thank you for the healing. And you blow your breath into the water. Now your essence is in the water. And then what you do is you just take this water and you can, you know, you can put it um, in the toilet. You can put it on the, uh, um, out in nature. Um, you want to you want to put it into a where a place where it can get back to nature. So put it in the toilet. You can put it outside in a tree. You can pour it out um, wherever um, there's nature around. Uh, you want to pour this out, and um, and then that way nature knows and spirits of nature knows that you're cleaning yourself, and you are um, honoring the water spirits, which is really really important technique. Um, you do not drink it. OK, because this is holding all the energies that need that are being cleansed out of your body. So right now, all the stuff from my back and all the discomforts and all the emotions and everything is in this water. 
Now, there's another technique that you can use, okay? And, um, and I call this water clearing your home. And so literally, you can take the, the um, four bowls or how many bedrooms you have. If you have six bedrooms, four bedrooms, two bedrooms, one bedroom, if you're in a studio, um, if you're in an office space, wherever it is, and you take and put water in all the bowls and put them in different rooms and do the symbol over every bowl. And you do the same thing. You tell water to clean the energy out of the room. Yeah, I nearly puked too. Clean the energy out of the room. Um, and you can ask it what you want it to clean. You just say clean all the negative energy out of the room. Then you set it. Then you go to the next one, draw the symbol, set it, go to the next one, draw the symbol, set it, go to the next one, draw the symbol, set it, go to the next one, draw the symbol, set it. Let it sit for a whole 24 hours. Afterwards, take it out and clean. You will feel your home feel so good. If your children are having a lot of dist spiritual disturbances in your house, your, your home will be clean. Okay? So, again, remember, um, you can always go back and watch this. This will be up on my um, Instagram live for the duration of time. And then... It'll all be sent to um, YouTube. If you haven't seen any of the old videos, you know, that's a wonderful um, where for you to go. We will be teaching you more about water shamanic healing um, using a different types of things and also learning about water scrying, how to be able to see the future in water and all these things in other courses of 30 Day Strong. Keeping that moon water going. So, you know, it's really important to learn these things, you know, and, and, and really incorporate them into your life. Because for me, I just want to open up my whole storage thing of all the tools and all of the different techniques and just hand them to you. I want to create a buffet for you and you can just pick and choose which one actually really connects with you. But the most important important thing is that you learn these techniques and you and you can use them on your children you can use them on your husband your wife your boyfriend your girlfriend your friends or on yourself and on your home and in your car and all of these beautiful things and this really you're I mean people who have been learning from me shamanism when I used to take apprentices who are now out there in the world helping people they say these that all the things that I've showed them and taught them has changed their life because they're being able to create such amazing healing on people and being able to realize how to stay and utilize the connection of nature and spirit and, and ancestors and joy and love and being childlike and fun. And, you know, and it's a great technique to teach your kids how to disperse um, negative emotions and energies that you really don't need. Yes, of course, you can do it for your pets. You know, just put the, the ball where they sleep. So like when I'm working with horses um, I had a woman uh, who had a, a very, uh, she's a dressage rider and she had a difficulty. Her horse was very temperamental and everything. And so we put like a big thing of water, did it and so forth to clear her, the stall of her horse and, and, and also, um, you know, dogs, cats, I mean, birds, you name it. It's a wonderful, wonderful shamanic technique. And I'm super excited to share it with you and teach you how to do that and be able to understand, um, you know, if you want to put it where you, you know, where you, where you work, or if you do, if you're a massage therapist, uh, especially now I'm going to say this, if you are a person who um, works with a lot of people coming through a lot of traffic. Okay. Uh, let's say for instance, you're a massage therapist, a healer, a hairstylist, anything where there's a lot of traffic coming in, use the water cleansing. You're going to go, Oh my God, more money's coming in, more things are happening, more success, energy feels amazing, everyone's going to be uplifted, because the reason why is because the energy stagnation in places of people coming in and going and all this kind of stuff can literally block uh, prosperity and abundance and create stagnity for everyone in that environment. So always keep your environment nice and flushed out, right? Remember, like flow, let it go, flow, let it go, flow, let it go. And really feel that you're going to feel the difference. And, you know, please um, take pictures, uh, videos of yourself doing the water exercises and tag um, 30 Days Strong. Um, and also, if you like the information that I'm sharing with you, please check out Ancient Wisdom Today podcast. 
We have amazing, beautiful people. We have amazing Marianne Williamson coming on soon. Um, Princess Marta Louise of Norway coming on soon. A lot of beautiful conversations to keep you nice and juicy and flowing and, and just growing and lifting and shifting. And so I'm so ex excited. And the, the, the symbolism is an ancient shamanic symbolism. A lot of shamans who do stuff with water know about the symbolism. I love you so much. And remember, you are strong and powerful and wise and beautiful. You're a genius. You are something absolutely wonderful to this planet and to all of us. And I love you. 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 And I will see you tomorrow for 30 days strong. Bye.